We all know that vitamins are crucial for health and fitness. But if you've ever taken a vitamin supplement, you might have asked yourself, can you take too much of them or even overdose? That's what I will talk about in this video, so stay tuned to learn more. So is a vitamin overdose even possible? The answer is a clear yes, but since they're not all equally processed by the body, you're more likely to overdose on some than others. There are some vitamins that are more easily stored in the body, and if you consume too much of them, you will notice the effects. On the other hand, some other vitamins are not as easily stored, and you will just pee out any excess intake. So the first thing you have to know is that all vitamins are either fat-soluble or water-soluble. Fat-soluble vitamins are processed and stored along with fat, which is also why it makes sense to take them along with a meal. Your body will then use these vitamin stores when it needs them. Vitamins A, D, E, and K are fat-soluble, and if you get more of them than your body needs, it will accumulate them in your fat tissue. Water-soluble vitamins, which include vitamin C and all the B vitamins, are not so easily stored in the body, and therefore, if you consume a large amount of them, you will usually just pee out everything your body doesn't need. That's why it's a lot more common to overdose on fat-soluble vitamins than on water-soluble vitamins. But there are a few exceptions, which I will get into in a second. So what are the symptoms of a vitamin overdose? This really depends on the individual vitamin, which is why I want to present you the most important ones now. Let's start with vitamin A. Usually, a vitamin A overdose happens slowly and over time. Some initial signs include dry skin, hair loss, and cracked lips. If you keep going, you will experience irritability, headache, and your liver would start to suffer. Now, if for some reason you took a huge amount of vitamin A, there is such a thing as an acute vitamin A overdose. Here, symptoms would be very severe, and you would start puking, your head would hurt like crazy, and you could even die. But don't worry, the only time this could happen, besides excessive supplementation, would be if you ate the liver of certain animals, including the polar bear or walrus, which you probably won't unless you're an Eskimo. Next on the list are the B vitamins. Even though they're water-soluble, a few of them can be problematic in very large amounts. For example, a vitamin B6 overdose can cause nerve damage. Too much vitamin B3 can lead to nausea, and too much folic acid, which is also called vitamin B9, can cause breathing problems. Then we have vitamin D. Overdoses on vitamin D are extremely rare, especially because most of us are actually deficient in it. But it's still possible. Too much vitamin D can cause acute vomiting and diarrhea, and if taken over longer periods of time, you can run into kidney and heart problems. But we're talking about doses of around 50,000 IU per day. This is more than 20 times what your usual vitamin D supplement will have. Okay, now that I went through the most important overdoses of vitamins, there's one more mineral I have to talk about, because unlike most vitamin overdoses, this one is actually pretty common. Probably the most dangerous mineral overdose is an iron overdose. Of course, the body needs iron for the production of red blood cells, but an iron overdose can actually kill you. It doesn't happen often in adults, but for young children and infants, it's definitely a problem. That's because iron is one of the few minerals we cannot eliminate unless we lose blood. So excessive supplementation will lead to accumulation in the body. Of course, all of this is not meant to scare you. As with everything in nutrition, there is a fine line between the ideal dose and too much or too little. Supplements can really increase your quality of life and are an important part of a well-rounded diet. You just have to know how to take them correctly. It's usually best to talk to your doctor first before taking things like iron or vitamin D. They will check your blood and see if you really need to supplement. 